All right, so a uh, word of caution when you're doing these lights. Let me uh, flip this around. Uh, make sure you line this up and it's not mounted too high because you don't want to be able to, you know, obviously you want to be able to put this cover back on. Um, and make sure you have it wired before you put the screws back in because you're going to need to be able to tuck it in like so. And also when you're mounting it, I mounted it down towards the bottom. That way the bolt right there clears the bulb when you go to put it in, see? Tough to see, but it'll clear it when I uh, screw this in. So, and I'm gonna put those two little screws in there. Obviously, wire it first, put it in there. So I did, I did it. Screw the whole pair, uh, two holes, one for the wire. Um, I am gonna put some rubber grommet stuff in there, keep the water out. Um, mounted it like that. Just a simple bracket, real easy. Um, I tightened it up pretty good. Uh, this is pretty brittle, so be careful when you're drilling it. Uh, I almost cracked it, putting too much pressure on it. Um, that's why I use the multi-bit if you've got one of these. Um, it's a little more gentle um, versus a regular drill bit. So... So these do pull out a little, there's a little bit of slack in there, and I'm just basically putting a little bit of pressure on my pliers here. I'll just use these um, just to pull them back a little, and I'm going to wrap them around there, solder them, and get it together. Now there's a good spot right here. I already did the ground um, to check your lights, so I'm doing the white on the... I guess it's like a reddish orange color. It's weird looking, but so just just a quick check. So I'm grounded. I'm saving the red for a minute, and basically we're gonna do uh, lights on. So good check. It's not working. So when you turn the key on, that's your other light. So key on. Perfect. So. This one and this one obviously should match and they should be going to the same wire, right? So that way your amber ones are on and then when I connect the red to the gray, the gray will be my um, my big lights at night. Like that. That runs with the switch. So... All right, so one last tighten down here. That way it doesn't flop around. And then once they're good and tight, that's what they look like. And then key on. Use the strobes. These are multifunction, so if you actually do it twice, they can just go solid like that. And then the regular lights are on the switch like that. Plenty of light that'll help us out at night, definitely, especially when you get the bucket up and it blocks the headlights. Pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Man, these suckers are bright. We do a great job. Eventually we're gonna switch completely over to LED. Here's these ones in the in the back.